My name is João Alves. I am um, a professor at the University of Vienna and I work on the origins of stars and planets. Sixty years ago, um, we realized, uh, Ambarsumi realized um, in the late 1940s that uh, star formation is an ongoing process in our galaxy and that um, you know, there are basically two modes of star formation that uh, we like to call star clusters, star clusters and OB associations. Uh, Sixty years later, we still do not know why there is that some stars are forming clusters and other stars are form in associations. And uh, this is one of the biggest mysteries. Uh, another one is why is the mass spectrum of stars, both in clusters and associations, the same across time, across the universe? And, um, and I believe that Gaia will play a definite role in solving these problems when, it comes, uh, when it's launched in about 10 years from now. Uh, the reason why uh, clusters are so important is that they give us, they're the very nice laboratories for star formation. Um, and um, not only star formation, but star and planet formation. Uh, we believe that our sun, our solar system, was once part of a, a cluster, a young cluster. If we understand how clusters form and uh, what is the relation between clusters and OB associations, then we understand a lot about the process of star formation uh, in our galaxy and uh, across the universe. Okay, so the, the scenario I was trying to put forward uh, during my talk was that uh, I believe we are not recognizing the effect of massive stars on the formation of clusters. And I believe that uh, they might play a critical, if not the most important, role. Right now we believe that um, massive stars are only found in clusters or in associations. The scenario I put forward is actually the reverse, and I actually said that uh, it's not that uh, massive stars are formed in clusters, it's clusters that are formed around massive stars. So embedded clusters are simply a phase um, that uh, we believe is a very... Uh, short-lived phase, when these clusters form in the, in the very cold interiors of dark clouds and dark clumps inside these very large dark clouds, um, you have a phase where we don't yet see the stars, the very young stars, they're still not optically visible. So we call this phase the embedded phase. We can only see the stars using infrared, extinction, infrared uh, observations where we, we see through dust extinction and then you know, have access to uh, light from these very, very young stars. This is a very fast living uh, phase. In about three to five million years, the entire cloud is disrupted and you have an optically revealed um, cluster. So embedded clusters are just baby clusters. I think Gaia will close uh, this question that was first raised 60 years ago, where uh, we realize that most stars are forming clusters and associations. That clusters are perhaps the, the favorite mode of, of star formation. And I believe Gaia will, will be crucial to disentangle the complexities of the star forming regions. This is, I believe, the reason why we have such a hard time in understanding what's happening. With Gaia, perhaps we will no longer talk about clusters and associations. We will see the entire movie of, of star formation and we will, you know, realize that clusters and uh, OB associations are perhaps the same thing and there's just an artifact of our um, observational methods. So I look forward to the day where uh, the Gaia movie will bring all these uh, populations of young stars uh, together in some coherent picture of star formation.